All right, what's up, guys? Um, been playing a lot, a lot of Monster Hunter recently, and there's some a few setting options that I really wanted to go over. Uh, Monster Hunter came out earlier this month, and people have been really, really enjoying it. So, um, but people have been mainly staying with controllers, and I found that interesting because the keyboard they actually did a very, very good job optimizing and giving you options for this, but. A lot of people don't know that these options exist. So what I wanted to do is just make a super quick video and show you guys a setting change that is going to make your life so much easier if you use mouse and keyboard. If you're not really into console gaming, you don't want to buy a controller extension or something along those lines. So um, you're just going to hit escape from anywhere in game, right? And you're going to go radial menu type, right? And you're going to swap this over to keyboard. Now what that allows you to do is uh, press F1 and gives you a whole another set of options. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go into game real quick so I can show you guys this. We're just gonna post any old quest, right? We'll just do, we'll do an optional. Tier one, optional, we'll go with that. Go to our camp. And we're just gonna run right out. I've also been very impressed with the load times on this game. So if you guys haven't picked up Monster Hunter World for the PC yet, highly recommend it's outstanding they've improved so much so here we go so when you're on a quest right make sure you have this radio menu type selected right if you're on a controller you want key the gamepad right because that's any kind of controller settings but the problem is if you have gamepad selected and you try to use any kind of menus you get this weird radial thing right and then it's super hard to like change it over you actually have to use both hands to change it over right so what you want to do, radio menu type, keyboard, and what that does is it changes your hotkeys to the 1, 2, 3, 4. Now, I have a Naga Razor, so this is very easy. Anytime I need to use a potion or something, I just kind of reach up, hit that, and then I can use any of my number buttons on my mouse, right? This is huge. This is so easy and quick and intuitive to use. It makes everything super, super smooth. So that's it for this video, guys. I just wanted to show you guys that option. Make sure you do that. Um, you can also go in here and fully adjust all of the settings. Now, one thing to keep in mind with the controls is that when you go down to here to keyboard settings, all right, if you're using a keyboard, you don't have to jack with any of this stuff. You can just leave it all on type one and leave it the way it is. But the keyboard settings, this allows you to individually change everything. So if you have a special mouse with some macro buttons that you want, you can come in here, change it, make do whatever you want to do, and it will change based on if you have a melee weapon or a ranged weapon. So for instance, for a bow gun, reaching down to press V to aim every time, right, is a bit of a stretch on your hands. You gotta kinda like really get over there. So I just changed that to one. So I just press one on my mouse and there's my aim. And all the buttons are customizable. So feel free to go in there and change them. And anytime you just swap over, say, hey, I'm done with my bow gun, I wanna play melee, you can have a whole other set of keyboard settings. So keep that in mind, guys. Hope you're enjoying Monster Hunter. Uh, go ahead and like and subscribe to this video. I really, really appreciate that support. And make sure to catch us over on Twitch uh, every day at 8.45 p.m. Eastern. And see you guys next time.